Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to pause live split in a way that you can close it and come back to your run later, for example on the next day. This is practically impossible in the default live split and that's why I wrote my own component. So in this video I'll show you where to download it, how to install it and how to use it. But before it, let me show you an alternative that actually works in the default live split, maybe it's gonna be enough for you. So. Let's suppose that you have a run going, you have some splits, and you understand that you have to pause here because you need to go somewhere, for example. What I would do was make a fake split and then reset the timer. Now go to Edit Splits. Grab all of the times from the third column and copy them into the second one. That will autofill the first column for us. Take the last time and copy it into Start Timer at and then we can get rid of the fake split because we don't need it anymore. Now we have splits that are prepared for our second attempt or continuation of a run. But see what happens when I start the timer again. It obviously starts from the first split and we don't have a choice but to skip all of the splits up until the point where we stopped. And that loses all of our previous times, at least during the current attempt. Ok, let's suppose that you decided to continue the run, you have some new splits and you have to pause again. Well, do the same, fake split, reset, edit splits. Now we have to be very careful because we have to take the first new time and copy it into the first column. And only then copy the rest from the third one into the second one. Now we can take the last time, copy it here, remove the fake split and we are done. Ok, as you can see it's kind of possible, but it's manual, it's boring, and if you copy something into the wrong place you can mess everything up, so you have to be careful. What I also don't like is that you lose all of the times during the actual attempt, and that's why I decided to make my own component. Let me show you how it works. First of all, let's add it into our layout. Big plus sign, other, timer pose. No settings are needed, to configure there are none, so we press OK. Now when I start the timer, as you can see it skips to the correct split automatically and we still see all of our previous times, which is much much better. Then we can of course continue with the run and let's say we have to pause here again. Don't make any fake splits, these are not needed anymore, just pause the timer. And that's it, now you can reset it, save your splits, close the live split and that's it. If you go back into edit splits we will see that everything that we were doing manually previously is now done automatically by the component for us. So we have our final time which is 202 and as you can see the last split was 154 which corresponds to what we see here on the live split. Perfect! This component works with the default live split key bindings, and if you don't remember how to change them, then simply go to settings and they're right here. Ok, where can you get it? You'll have to go to my GitHub page, of course I'll have a link in the description. Then we go to releases, currently there is only one, version 1.0.0, but in the future maybe I'll add something or maybe change something or fix something, who knows. So grab the latest release and download the DLL file, of course I already have it downloaded. After that, open the folder where your live split is installed, go to Components and put the file here. As you can see, it's there for me already. And that's it. After you put the file here, you'll be able to find it in the other category as I showed you earlier. If you found the bug or have some suggestions for improvements, you can obviously leave a comment on YouTube. But it's going to be better if you open an issue on GitHub. Don't worry if you don't have an account, because you can log in with your Google one, and of course you have a Google account if you have a YouTube one. This way I will definitely not miss your issue, because YouTube sometimes doesn't send notifications for some reason. I also have to mention that currently this component only works with empty splits, so if you already have some splits with times and you want to compare against them, then you cannot use this component yet. But if you need this functionality, then let me know and I'll try to think of a way how to implement. Before I go, I want to quickly introduce my channel. If you are not interested whatsoever, then it's fine. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. But currently I have one active project and I like GTAs and I like glitches in them. And that's why I decided to make a series where I explain how different strats and glitches that speedrunners use in GTA work. I use source code for my explanations, so they are kind of in-depth, but don't worry, you don't have to have any special knowledge in programming or in anything to understand these videos. I try to make them as accessible as possible for everyone. 
And if something still stays unclear after you watch the video, you can always ask me in the comments and I'll try to help you and explain it better for you. If you're interested, then I'll leave a link to this playlist in the description. Choose a video, watch it, maybe you'll like it, who knows? In between episodes, I release my old speedruns from Twitch, and that's basically everything you have to know about me. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you the next time. Have a good day.